Today, we are going to balance the equation of S2Cl2 plus NH3, which will yield N4S4 plus NH4Cl plus S8. What a doozy. But we're going to do it. All right, so I already wrote down a little chart here that's really going to help us, as well as the elements that I see on the left and the right side. So let's just state how many we have of each, and then we will get to balancing. Let's start with the left-hand side. I see that I have two sulfurs, so two sulfurs, two chlorines, so two chlorines. I have just one nitrogen, right? There is no number next to it, so one. And then I see that I have three hydrogens, so three. Moving on to the right-hand side, let's see. The nitrogen, it, there are in two spots, right? So I just have to add them together. So I have a total of four plus one nitrogen. So that's a total of five nitrogens down here. Uh, same thing goes for the sulfur. I see that I have sulfur in two places. So I have four plus eight. Four plus eight is 12. So I'm just gonna put that up top here. And then who's next? Let's see, okay, the hydrogen, there's a four next door here. So that means that I have four hydrogen and I have only one chlorine, so one. Now all the numbers, when I look at this, they're all over the place, right? So the easiest, I think, that I'm going to pick, remember, balancing is all, you know, guessing and checking, but I'm just going to start from the top, right? I see that I have a total of 12 sulfurs. I have two on this side. Always go from the lower number to the higher number by multiplication. Two times what will get me to 12? Yeah, two times six. And that number that I stated is going to be the coefficient for the compound that has the element. So I'm going to put a six here, but you have to be fair. You have to distribute the six between the sulfur and the chlorine. So I now have six times two. I have 12 sulfurs. That's what I wanted. And now I have six times two. I have six chlorine. Uh, sorry, six times two is 12, right? So now I have 12 chlorine. Let's keep going down the list. The sulfurs are balanced, so that's all good. Let's just go to the chlorine next. One times what will get me to 12? Yeah, one times 12. Don't be afraid of using big coefficients, okay, guys? So I'm going to put the number over here because that's the one that has the Cl, the chlorine. I'm going to put a 12 here. But you got to be fair you have to distribute, right? I have to distribute now this 12 to the nitrogen, the hydrogen, and the chlorine. So remember, for the nitrogen, there was two spots, right? Nitrogen here and here. So four plus 12, four plus 12 is 16. So I don't have five nitrogen anymore, I have 16. 12 times four for the hydrogen, that's 48. So now I have 48 hydrogen. Do not be afraid to use big numbers, guys, okay? And then I have 12 CLs, so that's all good. Okay, now let's keep working. Let's keep going down. Let's balance the nitrogen. One times what will get me 16? 16, and that's the number that goes in front of the compound that has the N. So I'm gonna put a 16 here, but you gotta be fair. You gotta distribute that 16 to both the nitrogen and the hydrogen. So 16 times one for the nitrogen, that's 16, that's what we wanted. And let's see, 16 times three is 48. So no more three, 48. But look at that guys, they're all balanced. 12, 12, 16, and 48, so we're all good. Your new balanced equation is 6S2Cl2s plus 16NH3s, which will produce 1N4S4 plus 12NH4Cls plus 1S8. And we are done. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments, okay? Good luck on all your future tests and quizzes. And if you want to help us out, please hit the subscribe button. Just gets the word out there. You know that this service exists. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in future lessons. Bye-bye.